about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Michigan lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. And he's tackled at about the 41. Now the quarterback should have thrown that one out of bounds. There was just no room to get it past that safety. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Steps out right around to 40. That brings up second and nine. Three down, three down. He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Three down, three down. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check the right. Ready. Red 18. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That's good decision-making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. Plane. He's going to lose yardage. Loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 29. It's a great tackle at the 27-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Nice play here by the senior to make the sure tackle. It's not very often that someone's able to shake this guy. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's tackled at the 19. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. The Wolverines are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Taylor gets about four yards on the play. Four yards. That makes it second and six. Hey, 
He makes it out to midfield, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Throwing left. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Tackle made at the 29 yard line. That's a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 29 yard line, it's second down. He's immediately tackled. That'll bring up 32. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. And this play is number eight on the drive. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. From the seven-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Tenth play of the drive. Just throws this one away. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Wisconsin is down three and looking to tie it up. It's up and it sails through the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four yard line. Tackle at the 22-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Looks left. Picked off. Brought down at the 23-yard line. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. From the 23-yard line, first down. Go for it! Run, 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 run. Nice run up the middle. Taylor comes away with five yards on the carry. That makes it second and six. go with the toss. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. The halfback toss gets them a yard. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. On the ground, inside. 
Tackle around the nine-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. First and goal. Play action. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a four-play, 22-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 10-3. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fielded at the four. He's tackled at the 27. So the Badgers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. Tackled after a decent pickup. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. Quick pass. And they push him out at the 42-yard line. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. Caught with room to work. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. Caught a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Check 52. He's hit and taken down. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He is drilled at the 14. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. Here they come, and he's going to be sacked. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Michigan to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
You know, Brad, the last time this offense was on the field, I was really impressed with the offensive line. They just controlled the line of scrimmage. Let's see if they go back to running the football. We'll see if maybe they mix in some play action pass as well. He's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 29. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 29 yard line. Second down. Wisconsin is up by four. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. They must have seen something in the defense because that was the exact same play as the one they ran before. Exactly the same play. The defense better make some adjustments because right now there's a mismatch that the offense has taken advantage of. They go with a pitch to the right. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 36. He fights forward to about the 36. No game. That brings up third and 12. We played one quarter. Wisconsin leads 10 6. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He makes it to the 38 yard line. Will be the return man. Oh, excellent punt. Bell takes it at the 16. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. It's a bad sign. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Nice run there. Quick strike and he drops it. The pass falls incomplete. The, intended the Wolverines defensive back is sidelined with an apparent injury. We don't know the severity of it. Does look kind of serious and we don't think he's going to be back and playing football today. It's away and it's a booming punt. Brought down at the 31. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Wisconsin holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. From their own 35-yard line, second down. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Third down. Steps out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Turn man. 
Oh, man, he took him down hard. Spread everywhere we go when we travel over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol. Hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. He's tackled at the 41. The only two on the play. That makes it second and eight. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Zips it to the back. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. No game on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. Done. Back to return it. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Wisconsin is up four. Here we go. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. From their own 17-yard line, second down. Made at the 29 yard line. That'll make it third and one. He makes it out to maybe the 30 yard line. Game of one on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. Bell is back to receive. Well, I tell you, it takes some real skill to kill the ball that close to the goal line. Great job by the punter. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Makes it and he's tackled short. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Hart awaits the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he can't hang on to the ball. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Wisconsin is up by four. Let's go! 980! Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And he misses his wide receiver there. Yeah, you're right. This is an area that he's worked so hard to improve since day one. The accuracy of his throws. He's improved, but as you can see, he's upset here with himself. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 34. That makes it three and seven. 
Quick strike to the receiver. Very good tackle in space. Number 34 gets the tackle at the 37-yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Kicks away. And he didn't get all of it. It falls short. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws complete. He's hammered. And he's immediately tackled. He steps out at about the 47 yard line. Incomplete. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Makes the catch, and look out. Brought down at about the 35. into triple coverage and it's intercepted. Number 56 makes the interception. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. First and 10. Kill, ball kill. on the 36-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. Wisconsin holds a four-point lead. Makes it out to about the 46. From their own 46 yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at the 48. That's a gain of two on the play. Wisconsin's going to use their first time out of the half here. at midfield. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? 
So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. Nice job here by the quarterback of putting some air underneath this pass and letting his receiver catch up with it for a nice game. There's a strike complete. He gets hit out of bounds around the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes to the 27-yard line. The Wolverines call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27. He's knocked out of bounds right around the six-yard line. to about the five-yard line. To the end zone, intercepted. He telegraphed that throw. He eyed his receiver the whole way. That was an easy read by the defense. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Wisconsin is up four. Let's make these babies proud. Hey, hey, and he hits him hard at the 22. That makes it second and eight. A great first half comes to a close. Wisconsin's up by four. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. No impressive rushing numbers in the first half. Both teams continued to try to establish the run. They were very stubborn about it, though neither one was very successful. But you got the sense at times that it was a little predictable that maybe the defense knew exactly what was coming every time. The run game is extremely important. It's important because it's body blows to a defense and you loosen them up, I think, later in the game. It opens it up to play action. But that doesn't mean that your script goes first and ten, I have to run the football. But mix it up, keep them off balance, keep the defense guessing. You've seen across college football, the teams with the most balance seems to be the most successful offenses. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Great Jackson first half. Hopefully the second half is good. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gets 
to that quickly. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. He's under some heat. The ball pops free. At the 30. That tackle could have saved a very big play. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Man left, man left. Hey, come on, Wisconsin no, no, no. is up by four. Take four, take four. Up, up. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Bring him down for a sack on the play. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll bring up 39. Third and long now after the sack. for it all to the end zone incomplete it's knocked down by the defense i think if he reached out a second later the receiver would have caught the ball that's perfect timing by the safety it has the distance and he just drilled it from long range Looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 27. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. At the 48-yard line. He guns it right side. Gets it. He's in space. Touchdown, Wolverines. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He makes the PAT. If you love defense, you're loving this game right now because they're the ones throwing all the punches and all the offense can do is duck. Moody has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Slings it out, and it gets tipped. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He lets it go. Nobody covering the tight end, and he's got it. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 49-yard line. 
First down. yard line second down got it complete he's out of bounds that makes it first and ten It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 40. He's on the run. Slides down. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Wisconsin could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, across the 30, and he's tackled at the 33-yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. out to around the 48. They go right back to him, and this time they get him in the backfield. hands third down now and they need to get it inside the 42 Connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. And he adds the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So the Badgers couldn't get much going in the first half offensively, but they've really got it going here in the third quarter. I think this is a great example of just making the right adjustments at halftime. The staff got together and made the adjustments, and where this quarterback and this offense has gone out there and found their rhythm. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line. Second down. And he's going to be sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. So the sack makes this third and very long. And he's going to come up with a sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Bell will be the return man. Bell takes it at the 47, and he's taken down at the 44. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. The offense now will take the field, and they hope to have the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. Tackled after a decent pickup. Michigan holds a four-point lead. Touchdown, Michigan! Oh, that's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight. And it's tough to maneuver. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 44-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 27-16. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. A pickup of four on the play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 28. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and down he goes at the 30-yard line. That makes it third and three. Taylor takes it left, and he carries the ball for a nice game. First down. From their own 36-yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That's a game of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. They 
bring him down. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. And that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Bell is back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. He's tackled at the 38. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. As long as this quarterback has time to throw, and you can guarantee that he'll find the open man. A two-yard run by the halfback. Tries to buy some time. Brought down at about the 41. That makes it 47. Fires out quickly to the tailback. They'll bring him down at the 45 yard line. Tackled right around the 32-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, Michigan leads it 27 to 16. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Three down, three down. They'll go ground. He makes it to the 32-yard line. at the 20. Makes it to the 14. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll bring up second and three. Taken down at the five. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll make it third and one. Three down, three down. Hey, check, check, check. Right in. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Collins, the intended receiver on the play. This one should be makeable. The kick is up, and he got it. Moody gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Wolverines have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. They're ready to begin another drive. Strike to his receiver, no good. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Nice run there. A five-yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. That'll make it third and five. Watch a slap, watch a slap, watch a slap. 
There's a strike complete. Tackle at the 33. That's a game of play. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it first and ten. Play action. He'll scramble. Looks like he's going to run. And he's tackled at the 48-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Makes the catch and look out. The 10. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. From the one-yard line, it's second down. He scrambled, decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Well, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well, seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. He makes the PAT. Wisconsin ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. They'll bring him down at the 31 yard line. Michigan's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Michigan up seven points. He's taken down at the 34. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it second and seven. Tackle made at the 37. Picks brings him down at the 37 yard line. That'll bring up third and four. It, middle to the running back and down he goes at the 43 yard line wow that was close i think the officials marked the spot correctly and it gives them the first by an highlight that's some daylight nice run to the left there the middle for a nice game. Scrambling around. Scrambles again. Brought down at the 41. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41.
the ground, up the middle. Makes it out to about the 33. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Check 26, check 26. On play action. He's at the 20. It's the sophomore that's got it. They'll bring him down at about the 13. Michigan is up by a touchdown. Here's a give up the middle, tackles right away. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the six yard line. to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11 play, 69 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Moody is lined up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Good open field tackle. Number 34 makes the tackle at the 32 yard line. First down. He makes it to the 35 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 35. He's going to go for the home run. Through his hands. Right, was the intended receiver on the play. All right, third down. He's taken down at the 36. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Less than three minutes in the game. That's a great tackle at the 43. Hutchinson makes the tackle at the 43 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Brought down in the open field. Here's the eighth play of the series. Tackle at the 39 yard line. First down. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. This one's going deep to the end zone. Missed him. 
How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. To the end zone, intercepted. Herbie with that interception, this one's over. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So the Badgers taking their first time out of the half. Tackled after a decent pickup. Wisconsin's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Green here, and the halfbacks got him, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. Wisconsin's called their final timeout. That makes it fourth and eight. Hart to punt. Tackle made at the 46. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He heaves it deep. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play. But he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy. But you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. Quick pass. Intercepted. Well, the defense was all over the ball in the air, and they come away with a dagger of an interception. From their own 33-yard line, first down, a little over a minute in the game. And the quarterback going to take a knee to drain this clock in any hopes the opposition may have had. Inside give. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He makes his way to about the 45. The offensive guns were ablaze all day, and it came down to who had one more shot. Michigan, 37. Wisconsin, 23. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.